What's poppin'? It's your boy True G. I'm from the east side of Baltimore, Zone 13. You already know what it is, Father Boy King. To all my niggas locked up, just hold on. Pouring liquor for my niggas, cause I still mourn. But y'all was here right now, but y'all still gone. I'm trying to go on with my Father life. Boy, and I'm from Patterson Park Avenue, Patterson Park, St. Clair Lane, east side of Baltimore, Zone 13. Basically, you know, I just wanted to tell my life story and where I was from, you know, how I was raised, born in the 80s, baby, raised in the early 90s. I was a big Michael Jackson fan when I was young, so, you know, loving Michael Jackson music and being entertained by him, that's kind of influenced me to want to do music and be an entertainer. But, you know, growing up, to get me through the struggle was Tupac music. His music uh, helped, actually helped save my life because I felt like I had somebody to speak for, you know, what I was going through as a child. Tupac and Nas, they was like um, the two artists that I listened to that music helped me get through, you know, tough times where I came from. No, actually, nobody in my family was musicians, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like, we used to have talent shows at our family union when we was kids, but no, I wasn't musicians, though. Like, it was me. Like, I was always wanting to be the one, like, to do it, like, or get in front of the camera, like, because it was, like, a natural thing for me. Like, I wasn't shy, you know what I'm saying? Shit, my life inspires me to want to create music. The shit that I've been through in my life, tough time, the tough times, you know. Basically, I feel like I'm speaking for people who ain't got no voice or that, you know, it was hard for them, so... That's how, that's what inspired me to make music. Things I've been through, shit my friends been through, things my people been through, things we still going through as people. Oh, well, I'm writing about the struggle I've been through in life. That's one. Relationships I had with women. That's two. Street life that I did and dealt with friends, people I done lost, people that's locked up for life, you know. So, it's basically about my life, things I've been through growing up in the city of Baltimore on the east side. Oh, it's cool right now. <laughs> it's better than what it was when it first started because when I first started rapping into the hip-hop scene, man, the shit was crazy. We used to go to Black Hole, shut down, um, before I even had my own studio. Because back then, I remember we was rapping, we was inside of a, uh, a closet with a, uh, what kind of microphone was that? Like a, a little, uh, what you call that goddamn mic? Um, it was like a, uh, like a damn, uh, you know, a microphone you use, like a, uh, what you call them things? When you out, PA system, a PA system microphone, one of them little cheap ass microphones you screw off top. We was rapping, making music on that type shit. That's when one of those mics hung up on like a string or something. <laughs> For the old computer, Ryder Rook from uh, Baltimore First, he can tell you about that. 47 side days. Uh, my man Tony Rowe, Young Bimo, aka Young Bimo, he can tell you about that. We was rapping on that type shit, man. Making music in a closet, a little closet, a little space. But we got the, it got the job done. So, you know what I'm saying? You know? And we made a lot of music on that type shit. But now, you know, as you can see, I've been upgraded. All professional from beat machines, drum machines, keyboards, studio, uh, booth, everything professional. But we we did that though. So we started off from the trenches, you know. Niggas came up a long way. Oh um, man, I just want to get my music out there, promote what I'm doing. I want people to know who I am and help put Baltimore on, you know. Like Baltimore on, but we're not really on, you know what I'm saying? Like I really want to bring more attention to the city. My project I'm working on right now is called True Testament. True Testament is about my life, um, what I've been through. So you want to expect that mixtape around the end of February. Be on the lookout for True Testament. Right now I got the first song out called Locked Up. You go on YouTube, RBG True Jew. That's T-R-U-J-E-W-R-B-G. And you'll see my um, first video called Locked Up. And um, I'm pushing from there.